Hey, do you want to know how to do these? I'm Connie from The Painting Photographer, and this is another quick craft. You'll need some drop cloth, some IOD stamps, and some floral. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't sew, so my sister made these bags out of drop cloth for me. She cut them out sewed them up, left them inside out because if you would turn them the, the other way, you wouldn't have the seams. I kind of like the seams and the frayed look of it. Then she sewed a patch on the front to a uh, space for the stamp to go. Here I'm going to use the queen bee stamp set. I really do like those honeybees. And uh, you just take a stamp and decide how you want it to fit. I positioned them and made sure that they fit on here the way that I wanted. And then I was gonna leave ink on the sides of the bag. So I used two pieces of white paper and covered up that area. So when I do stamp, the ink goes onto the paper versus the bag. I take the IOD black ink and ink up the stamp. Position that paper and the stamp onto that little tag and stamp it down. This is ink going into fabric, so it has to soak in just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to go in my, with my little bee and stamp him with the blank ink and position him where I want him. And holding that down for just a little bit. And there it is. Okay, I'm gonna do some more. All right, so now we're gonna put the flowers in. I have peonies. You can get these from me. It's a set of three, 650 for this set of three. Go on my website at thepaintedphotographerhomedecor.com and you'll find them. Then I have a bunch like this from Walmart to go with the peonies. I also have a bunch like this from Walmart, looks like baby's breath to go with the peonies. And then I have some lavender. This is a greenery bush from Walmart. So here's the bag. We're going to make this bag into a flower arrangement. I'm gonna put you down. All right, the first thing I wanna do is fold this bag over just a little bit. I like the stringy raw edges, so I'm not getting rid of those. I'm gonna fold it over twice. So there you got your little sack. And 
Hopefully you'll be able to see this stamp on here, this bird stamp enough. And then I'm gonna take DIY's empty eight ounce paint container and it's gonna go in here. It's the holder for the flowers. So first we're gonna put some foam in there. We have this green styrofoam. You kind of plan it out as to where it's gonna be. I have to cut like that. Cut down, not gonna fit in there. It's like putting a square in a circle. So we're gonna take those corners off. And push it in. We'll just cut it down like that. And we'll take a little moss. push it down in the jar. All right, we got our jar. Back into the drop cloth bag. Then we have an old pillow. Stop. Just wanna make this bag feel a little bit on the soft side not so hard. So you're going to stuff on all the sides. Stuff it however you want. Okay. So there we got our little drop cloth bag. Now let's take these flowers. So we're going to cut them down because obviously if we put them in there they're going to be too tall. So we're going to cut them down. You take a needle nose pliers with the wire cutters on it. Down. Push it into the foam. You don't want them all the same height. You want them some a little bit smaller than the other ones. We're gonna make this white one smaller, putting him more towards the front. It's kind of cream colored, giving him a little bend. And then we have the dark pink one. He's gonna be the tallest and go in the back. All right, there is the three peonies. Now we're gonna take this baby's breath that I bought from Walmart and it pops apart like that. It does have wire in its stem as well. So you're gonna place a few of them around for some interest. See, it comes on a bunch like that. You just have to break it away. You're probably not supposed to do it like that. But that's what I do. There's little notches in the stems where it makes it for easy cutting. It's too tall for the front, so we're gonna go about an inch down where the next notch is, getting them below the peonies. Now, my sister gave me some ties too. We're gonna try that. 
I'm going to lay this down and tie that shut. Oh yeah. So there you go. Now I'll do one speedy for you. It's getting to be a jungle in here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'm Connie from The Painted Photographer. You can find those items on the Painted Photographer Home Decor.com. If you need any DIY or IOD products, please visit my website at thepaintedphotographer.com and I'll ship them right to your door. See you next time. Happy painting.